I am sure you are now excited that we are about to do assignment one questions. Okay, please note that the assignment questions that we are going to discuss here were taken from semester one assignment one. Under normal circumstances, uh, semester one and semester two questions are similar. They test the same content, uh, even though the numbers are different. Okay, let us begin. So question one looked like this. Okay, you were supposed to fill in this table here. You will use the drop down uh, menu to select the correct account to be debited. You will have to type the correct amount and you'll have to use the drop down menu to select the element debited and so on. Okay, uh, before we fill in this, let us read the instructions and see how to answer this question. Okay, so it reads like this. John Miles started a business named Miles of Furniture during 2023. The business is not a registered vet vendor and applies the principles of the perpetual inventory system. During January 2024, Miles of Furniture maintained a favorable bank balance. Okay, so this is something that you need to take into account as you proceed, okay? So whenever they tell you that a company has a favorable bank balance, they mean that uh, the bank account of this entity has a positive balance. This means that if in the next transaction they tell you that the company used their debit card to pay for something, they will be using money that is theirs. However, if the company had a unfavorable bank balance, that would mean that the bank account has a negative balance. Okay, So whenever they use their debit card to purchase something, they will be increasing their overdraft. Okay, So overdraft is a liability. Okay. So you need to take that into account. Whenever you are given a question like this, check whether it was a favorable bank balance or an unfavorable bank balance because that has an implication in terms of using their bank account. Okay. So don't stress too much about that. You'll understand better as we do more questions. Okay. So the next instruction reads as follows. On 20 January 2024, Miles of Furniture acquired a new line of energy efficient fridge or freezer combination units for resale okay so here they are telling us that they bought uh, a, a fridge for resale whenever they tell you that they bought something for resale that means this is their trading inventory okay so you need to take that into account when you consider which account is debited and which account is credited okay so the units were purchased on account from mr fridge for 146,500 okay this is also important so this was not a cash payment they purchased it on account this simply means they purchased it on credit so a credit is a liability okay they are supposed to pay back the money they complete the table below by selecting their account to be debited the account to be credited and the element affected on the statement of financial position so your elements are your assets equity and liabilities from the drop down menu and uh, filling in the applicable amounts in the correct spaces please indicate whether the transaction increases or decreases the affected element in the amount column so this is how you are going to indicate whether it decreases or increases uh, the affected element if for example you are dealing with an asset and the asset is increasing uh, the assets of the company are actually increasing you will write the number like this 146 uh, 500 okay uh, no negative sign but if uh, your assets are decreasing okay if the transaction uh, decreases that particular element then you will indicate that by uh, starting with a negative sign okay so let us uh, go to the table that we we discussed or the table that we looked at previously okay given all the information that we have just read in the previous slide we are in a position uh, to decide uh, which elements are involved in the transaction okay we know that they talked about trading inventory so we need to search for trading inventory uh, in this uh, table okay and find out whether it belongs to assets equity or liabilities uh, if you check this table you'll notice that trading inventory is an asset remember what we said about assets when assets increase we actually debit them okay so in this case this is indicated by this so 
trading inventory will be increasing therefore we are supposed to debit trading inventory since it's increasing if it was decreasing we will what we will credit trading inventory okay so the next uh, thing that they told us is that uh, they bought this trading inventory on account okay so if you are buying something on account you are increasing uh, the amount that you owe creditors so your tra your creditors control will actually increase since uh, creditors control increases that simply means that we are supposed to add to credit that okay so we are going to credit your creditors control another term that they often use for creditors control is trade payables okay so in that table we might not find uh, creditors control but find uh, trade payables okay so whenever you buy something on credit you are actually uh, increasing your or trade payables okay so with this now we know that these are the two accounts that are involved trading inventory and creditors control okay remember what the double entry principle said so at least two accounts are involved in a transaction and one of them must be debited and the other one must be credited and the amount credited must be equal to the amount debited okay so let's go back to our table and try to capture this information okay so we said the account to be debited is your inventory account okay your trading inventory so you need to click on this here make sure that you select inventory in this case they did not say trading inventory but inventory just select that one so that is your correct answer the amount that you're supposed to type here is uh, one four six five uh, zero zero okay comma zero zero okay please note that we did not include a negative sign because this inventory will be increasing okay and inventory is an asset just like we we had identified it okay so this is how you're going to approach this okay this is the account to be debited this is the amount and this element is an asset okay then the account to be credited we've already said that this is your creditors control account because you increasing your credit okay uh, if there's no creditors control we need to search for trade payables from this drop down menu okay let's see okay this is trade and other payables okay this is the correct one okay the amount is the same since your your debts are increasing you're increasing this element okay so this is one four six five hundred uh comma zero zero and this asset here is what is a <laughs> sorry i mean this element not asset is a what is a liability okay so if you did everything like i've just done here you'll get your six marks okay so this is how you use the accounting equation this is how you use the double entry okay method okay let us look at the next question